In this video, I will be going over the concept of circular measure and I will be teaching you how to solve questions involving radians. We already know how to understand circles in terms of degrees, so we know that if we do, it's a bad line, we know that if we do one whole entire round around our circle, so if we go like this, that's 360 degrees. If we only go from here to here, that is 180 degrees. We also know that we're able to break it down. So for example, if we have one fourth of a circle like this, that's 90 degrees. We can have another fourth and split this up into, let's say 30 and 60 degrees. If we take an eighth of our circle, we get 45 degrees. And this is stuff that we've all learned quite a while ago. So in this video, I'm going to be introducing you to something called radians, and they're basically just a substitute for degrees. So while when we're talking about circles in terms of degrees, when we go all the way around, we have 360 degrees. And when we go halfway around, we have 180 degrees. Now, radians are expressed slightly differently. Let's say that for a circle, so with radians, when we want to express 180 degrees or going around half of our circle, that's expressed as pi radians. So pi radians. And if we want to go all the way around our circle, instead of 360 degrees, we get two pi radians. And from this, we can easily tell that pi radians is essentially the same thing as saying 180 degrees. And likewise, 2 pi radians is equal to 360 degrees. So as I said, radians are essentially just another unit through which we express degrees. So in terms of directly using radians, the two types of problems that you'll come across is converting degrees to radians and converting radians to degrees. So what I mean is that you'll be given, let's say an angle, that's bad, let's say we have an angle of, let's pretend that this is 90 degrees and we're asked to express this, express this in radians. So how do we do this? Well, we know that pi radians pi radians is equal to 180 degrees, then we basically need to find how many radians 90 degrees is. So we can use our cross multiplication or whatever you want to call it. So 90 pi is equal to 180 times x, so x radians. And from this we get that x is equal to 90 pi over 180, 90 over 180 is 1 over 2, so we get that x is equal to 1 over 2 pi. Therefore, 90 degrees is equal to 1 over 2 pi. Another example we might have is, let's say we're asked to find 20 degrees, so roughly this is 20 degrees, and we have to express this in radians. We follow the same process, pi radians is equal to 180 degrees, 20 degrees is equal to x radians. So we get 20 pi, let's scroll down here a bit, 20 pi is equal to 180x, 20 over 180 pi is equal to x, cross this out, we get 1 over 9. So 1 over 9 pi is equal to 20 degrees. That's simple enough, but just to make this a bit more straightforward, I'm going to write out an equation that we can use to solve our questions to solve our questions right away. So if we have our degrees, a value in degrees and we want to convert it to radians, simply multiply it by pi over 180 and this will give us our answer in radians. In radians. 
And just for the record, my pies look a bit weird, so this is not to this is not to their pie. I just like to write it quickly. <laughs> so let's say that we have an angle of 200 degrees that will look something like this. We want to express this in radians. So what we do here is we take our degrees or 200. So we write 200 and multiply this by pi over 180. And from this we get, we can cross out the zeros, 20 over 18 pi. Divide both sides by two, we get 10 over nine pi is equal to 200 degrees. As I mentioned earlier, the second equation or type of question that you'll be asked is to convert radians to degrees. And in doing this, we're essentially just doing the opposite of what we did above. So let's say that we have our angle of pi over two. We have to convert this to, convert it to degrees. So we know that 180 degrees is equal to pi. Pi over two is equal to x degrees. So we can once again cross multiply 180 times pi over two is equal to x times pi, cross out pi from both sides and divide 180 by two to get 90. Therefore, x which is equal to pi over two is equal to 90 degrees. And once again, we can use a formula to make this more straightforward. We can say that if we have a value in radians, we can multiply our value in radians by 180 over pi to get our answer in degrees. And it's pretty obvious that this is essentially the flip of what we have over here. While we had pi over 180, we multiplied degrees by pi over 180 we have to multiply radians by 180 over pi. Let's look at one more example. So let's say that we have this degree right, this angle right over here, which is pi over four radians. We need to express this in degrees. So what we want to do here is we want to multiply this by 180 over pi. So pi over four times 180 over pi. This gives us these cross out to 180 by four and we get 45 degrees. So 45 degrees is equal to pi over four radians. So just as a quick recap, 180 degrees is equal to pi radians, therefore to get 360 degrees or a full revolution, we need two pi radians. And the two types of questions that you will be asked are to convert degrees to radians and to convert radians to degrees.